In ancient Israel, around 970 BC, there lived a young man named Yoav of the tribe of Asher. One day, his parents approached their firstborn. Yoav, your olive harvest has been good, and it seems about time you started a family. What do you think of Netta, the daughter of the village potter? Yoav considered the suggestion very well. You know her father. Would you ask him on my behalf? Of course. We'll see if we can arrange a match. They broached the idea to Netta's father. He said, I have nothing against your son, but I've had an equally good offer from Anand the carpenter. I have thought it over, and I think Netta would be better off married to Anand. Yoav's parents were saddened to lose a girl like Netta, but they were determined to help their son find a good wife. A few days later, Yoav's father was talking with his friend the merchant. I've been trying to get a wife for my son, but the girls in our village all seem to be betrothed already. One of my regular customers in another village has a daughter who's not betrothed. She is very beautiful and industrious and would probably make a good wife. Would you like me to find out if her family would be interested in meeting yours? At their request, the merchant arranged for Yoav's parents to meet with his customer. The meeting went well, and Yoav's parents went back to their son with their recommendation. The daughter, Libby, would be a good match for you. Yoav trusted his parents' wisdom and was willing to ask for Libby. Sir, I am well able to provide for a family. If you think I'm worthy, please tell me what I must do in order for Libby to become my wife. I have considered it, and I think it is of God. I believe you will make Libby very happy, but let us ask her if she agrees to the marriage. Yoav asked Libby if she was willing to become his wife. Yes, I am. Yoav and Libby's father went to the village gates to ask the elders to be witnesses to the betrothal. Yoav and his father-in-law agreed on a bride price. The two families returned to Libby's home and shared a meal together. And Yoav also gave gifts to Libby. While Libby was making herself ready for their union, Yoav returned to his home to finish everything that needed to be done before his first year of life as a newlywed, when he would not be charged with any business. After several months of being betrothed, everything was ready. With the blessing of his father, Yoav set out, accompanied by his friends, to get his bride. An excited Libby was waiting with her friends, adorned in her bridal finery. A big celebration was held in Libby's village, and another in Yoav's. The festivities lasted for several days. Yoav and Libby entered the wedding chamber and became one. After that, they were fully married and ready to start a new family in Israel.